Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be addressing why I stopped shopping at fast fashion chains. The main reason why I stopped shopping at these fast fashion chains is because most of the garments are made from developing countries like Bangladesh or are made from China. The reason why I avoid anything that's still made in China is because from my personal experience, they're made in low quality and are generally made for mass production. But I want to address more about the developing countries. Big fast fashion companies like Zara, Topshop, H&M, Uniqlo, just to name a few, exploit these countries for labor. Big companies like this try to justify it by saying that they provide jobs for these countries and bring them out of poverty. They may have brought some countries out of poverty, but they have stripped them of basic human rights, like fair living wage, clean and safe environments, and actually teaching them skills that are going to be useful. There is a good way and a bad way about doing this, and this is a bad way. Companies like Zara can do so much more than just one line of sustainable fashion. I want to address and bring up that Amancio Ortega, one of the founders of Zara, the richest man in Europe, his net worth is $82 billion. Let that sink in. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a study done by Westwood R. I'll link it down below if you guys have any interest in it, but I'll give you guys a quick overview. So, an average t-shirt from a fast fashion chain is $14. So to make a t-shirt that costs $14, it takes an average of $5.67 to give it, to ship it, make it, pay the workers, and everything else that goes into making it. But up to 60% of that $14 is profited. And a measly 12 cents, 12 cents go towards the garment workers. Compare those two, 12 cents per $14 t-shirts go towards garment workers. Amancio Ortega, CEO and one of the co-founders of Zara, is the richest man in Europe and is net worth of $82 billion. You do the maths. <laughs> but there are brands out there that do do this correctly. I want to give you guys an example, one right now is a brand that I love and I have a couple of jeans from is Nudie. They have complete transparency on their website, I'll link it down below about their productions. They give them fair living wage, safe environments and teach them actual skills and constantly visit them for audits randomly throughout the year. If you guys want me to do a video about this on brands that do do this type of work, I can just give it a thumbs up and I'll do that for you and comment down below. Yes, I've thrown a lot of hate at these companies, but us consumers can do better. We are the ones funding these companies. For anyone that wants to make a more sustainable change in their fashion choices, like I have, I am not saying throw every single piece of fast fashion clothing that you have now away. For example, this turtleneck is made from Uniqlo. And yes, that is a big fast fashion chain. I used to be a fast fashion addict as well. I used to shop constantly. Since I've purchased this now, I will wear it to death and wear it until it's not wearable anymore and really appreciate whoever made this for me. Anyone that do want to make a more sustainable change in their fashion choices is to become more conscious and really ask yourself questions like, do I really need that? Will I wear it more than twice and where is my money going to and who is it supporting oh sorry about that guys my camera died anyways that's the end of the video all my links down below for my instagram and my blog and all of the resources as i said from the beginning of this video so i'll see you guys next week don't forget to give a thumbs up again in this video if you like it subscribe as well if you like what i have to say and i'll see you guys next week bye